to recap what we had on uh, yesterday from the results. This is Group C, Denmark versus France. Nil-nil draw, the only nil-nil draw we had in the tournament so far. And then uh, next after that game actually being played simultaneously with that game was Australia versus Peru. 2 nil Australia win that game, but both Australia and Peru kiss the tournament goodbye. Then we had results from Group D, and this was Nigeria versus Argentina. That is Nigeria 1, Argentina 2. Too bad for Nigeria, captain Obi Mikel scoring that goal, but then Argentina getting the goals from Messi and Marcos Rojo there a few minutes to the end of the game. 2-1 winners, Argentina go through, Nigeria go home. Four teams from Africa already gone, one remaining. Then, same time, Iceland and Croatia. Croatia scoring in extra time. That means they advance nine points, top of the group, followed by Argentina in second place. Well, those were the results from yesterday. And if we look at um, uh, the fixtures for today, we'll get back to those fixtures in a short while. Where do we go? We go to F. Robai Waliako Nimejua Sasa. Takidogo. Games for today. 5 o'clock, South Korea versus Germany. My money is on the German machine. 3-0 winners there. I don't know what you think. Next game actually being played at the same time in Group F will be Mexico versus Sweden. I've got a new uh, liking for Sweden. So, my name is Swedish Leo. Sweden is a Kenya Wawili. I'll be with them in that game. I hope they win 1-0. And I'll get to the permutations of that group sometime later and you'll see why that group is very tight. Group E, we've got Serbia versus Brazil. I think arguably one of the toughest matches that have to be played today. Because Brazil, top of the group, they're in danger of uh, not doing so well if they lose this game. We'll give you the permutations when we get to look at the groups. And then finally, we've got Switzerland versus Costa Rica. Those are the matches that will be played today. If I simply go into the standings quickly, I think we went through Group A is done. You don't need to go into permutations of Group A because those two teams have already gone through. Group B as well, Spain, Portugal are through in there. And then uh, we go to Group C, France, Denmark, they went through. Very boring game. Actually, there are rumors flying around that FIFA is investigating that game between France and Denmark because it was a nil-nil draw and they never played to their full potential. No shots on target, no shots on goal. People are not willing to move forward. So it's a subject of investigation and those are rumors that are coming out of Russia from that Group C. Then uh, Group D, Croatia, Argentina, very painful for Nigeria to go out like that. And then uh, here is where now things get juicier. This is Brazil, Switzerland, Serbia and Costa Rica. If you look at that group, Brazil, four points, Switzerland, four points, Serbia, three points, Costa Rica, nil. If Serbia beat Brazil, they go to seven points. If Switzerland beats Costa Rica, they go to seven points. Six points for Serbia, sorry, and Switzerland go to seven points. That means Brazil are top of the group today, but they could be kicked out of the tournament. That's how serious it is. Switzerland are on four points. But if Brazil and Serbia draw and Switzerland lose, trouble for Switzerland because they could be kicked out of the tournament despite being in the second position right now. So these three teams, all of them with an equal chance of going through, it all depends on who gets the best out of it. If Brazil and Serbia draw and Switzerland and Costa Rica draw, of course, Switzerland will be out of the I mean, Serbia will be out of the tournament because they'll have four points. Switzerland will have five points. Those are permutations of Group E. And then we go to Group F, where we see Mexico, Germany, Sweden, and South Korea. Now, this is the interesting part in this group. Everyone with an equal chance of going through to the round of 16. South Korea, zero points, but they have an equal chance with everybody else. And this is how it works out. Let me start from the bottom. South Korea, they have played two, lost two, goal difference of minus two, zero points. If they beat German by more than two goals and Mexico beat Sweden, South Korea go through. Sweden, they are on uh, three points. They play Mexico today. If they draw this game, this particular game, and Germany lose to South Korea, they are through. Now, what happens if Germany and uh, South Korea draw? and Sweden and Mexico also draw. It will mean that Mexico will be on seven points, top of the group, Germany will be on four points, Sweden will be on four points, South Korea will be on one point. German and Sweden, if you look at the table, they are identical on everything else. 
Matches played 2-2, two, two, won one each, drawn nil, lost um, uh, one each. This is lost one. Actually, German lost one game. Goals for 2-2, two, two. goals against 2-2, two, two. goal difference 0, points 3-3. Three, three. If they draw that game, it means that German will go through, despite having an identical um, uh, aggregate against Sweden, simply because head-to-head -head between German and Sweden, German won that game. So those are the permutations of the groups that will be played today. Tomorrow we shall give you the permutations of uh, Group G and H that will be playing. Bernard, Dime Maliza Isabu. Very important statistics there, just to get a sense of how important today's game is uh, against Mexico. Uh, looking at history, these two sides have played about 10 times and uh, Sweden, the last time that they won was in 1958 against Mexico. So about 60 years. Are you, are you worried? No, not no, at no, all. No, we're not worried. Why? Uh, in 1958, you said, that's also when we were number two in the whole World Cup. So we want to do that again. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Looking at the composition of the squad, um, the omission of Zlatan Ibrahimovic is a very pivotal player for the Swedish national team. I, I understand he's quite a celebrity uh, back yeah. home in your country. But looking at the squad, they've, they've tried. They've lost one, they've won one. They're, they're, they're holding their own. Yeah, and they were super close to a draw against Germany. It was 15 seconds left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, we were almost there on that game as well. So I think uh, Slatan is the biggest star, like you said. But without him, we are playing more like a team. Yeah. Really? That's yeah. an interesting point. Mm. So y you feel, uh, maybe I can bring you in into the conversation, you feel that uh, the overdependence on Zlatan, uh, it was to, some, to some extent, was a disadvantage because now the team is playing as a unit and it's, the focus is not on only Zlatan. No, exactly. Now they have, they, they have exercised the team to work as a team, as you said. And uh, they have trained for this World Cup without Zlatan Ibrahimovic, so they can manage without him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Playing Mexico, um, some would say this is the team that will actually go the full length until the final. Uh, you can't underrate Mexico. They have a fast game. They are, They've blown away all the opposition so far. But also something that stood out in your last game, uh, there was this, this player, his name is Jimmy Damas. Um, he, of course, he has a heritage from deep another country, but there was a lot of uh, vitriol, a lot of, uh, unfortunately, abuse online. Yeah, yeah uh, he was, uh, when it was this 15 seconds left, he was kind of, taking the ball from someone and they got a free kick, Germany, and that's where they scored the goal. Uh, so it was actually a big hate storm against uh, Jimmy Dermas. Um, and a lot, a lot of, in like an hour, he got 3,000, I think, tweets and messengers saying that he, yeah, a lot of hate 